We're here right up in northern Uganda in an area called Kochgoma. It's a very remote area of Uganda. Um, not many live, people live here. It's entirely mud huts and bandas. All our children are coming from very difficult backgrounds. It's one of the poorest areas you can find. Our children are all orphans or child-led families or coming from HIV, AIDS backgrounds, all of them in chronic poverty. We're here today to give out goats to some of the children and they're going to breed those goats and give them to the next educated child. So today we're going to give away about 30 to 50 goats to children and they're going to pass those on to other educated children and it will eventually help 250 educated children in this way. The goat serves many purposes. That's why uh, we think if a poor family like this has a goat, it serves many, many, many reasons. For sale, for meat, and then also to fulfill the traditional rituals that happen. So this is why we really think giving a God to a poor family can make them move a further step from being very poor to coming to an average, which is an adequate uh, standard of living which you can get out of this project. When we present the goats today, we're going to use a vet to immunise the goats for their well-being. And the vet is a nice story. That's a former educated child that's come through our school's programme that we asked him what he wanted to do with his life and he's mentioned veterinary, so we trained him in it. He's a qualified vet now and now he's giving back to the community, back to the educated children. And it's him, it's Augustine, that's immunising the goats. Oh, it was just such a touching thing to do. I felt really privileged being able to be part of the educated team and give the goat to the family. And when they started doing that yelling and dancing, it was the most amazing thing. It really will change their life. So, yeah, I'm really thankful that I could be here.